Hey, what's up, guys? I'm Right Torin. And Jinx here. And welcome back to Way of the Hunter on the PlayStation 5. So we've already tracked down a deer for us to kill. Uh, also, I figured out a, a few things. So first of all, the reason why the information wasn't always popping up uh, when we were in the scope is apparently the info only pops up if you're in the hunter mode. I wasn't aware of that. I, w I just thought it was kind of inconsistent. Uh, but yeah, when you're... Obviously we knew we could use hunter mode to look at them through the binoculars. Uh, but it was the scope, which I'll show you guys here in a minute, that I was a little unsure on. Right, we can see that we are about 170 yards away or so. So I'm thinking we'll get right up to this tree line here because there's a bunch of deer over there as well. And so I think they'll see me if I get too close. Yeah, because he's already looking at you with his binoculars. Mm-hmm. Oh, he's looking at us. He's flapping his ears, getting a taste for the wind. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so what I wanted to show you guys here is in the encyclopedia, we have a lot more information on certain animals because you'll slowly start revealing more info on them as you, like, track them and stuff. So we see that the recommended hit energy... For the white-tailed deer, which is what we're tracking right now, is between 1,500 to 3,700 J, whatever that stands for. And we can also see, like, uh, different information down here. Like, the trophy type is their antlers. Obviously, that's what you're looking for. Um, and then, of course, shows you the ranges for those uh, trophies for the antlers. And how it kind of determines what rating you're getting there. Also kind of shows a little bit about the, the body variations and primary habitat and stuff. I don't think we have all that on everybody. I'm not sure though. Just take a look. Yeah, you'll see here the American Black Bear. Because we haven't really done much for it, we have not unlocked more info on that. On the elk, same thing. You think with all the moose we've tracked? Nope. <laughs> not quite there either. Anyway, so the point is here, um, you know, with the moose, we can see how much energy we needed which is considerable yeah, uh and that's the reason lot. that's the reason why we were not uh having a lot of luck killing those uh with the gun that we have but with the white-tailed deer obviously need a lot less energy here and the reason why i'm showing all this is because we're able to see it here in the hunter mode you can see the energy up there at the top so i'm going to try and just get a little bit closer here so yeah, we're just going to try and check the shot from here guys Got these leaves in the way, unfortunately. And I just don't know. Hold up. Distance is probably good on the zeroing. So we're gonna try and shoot it like right. In the jugular. <laughs> it's still kind of wobbly despite holding my breath here. Oh, he's moving. You're just really excited, that's all. Alright, we're gonna have to. Oh, he's on the move now. You can shoot him in the ass. Yeah. Well, that's not, obviously not going to work. We've tried that before. <laughs> Alright, so... Unfortunately... He is moving. And we don't have as clear of a shot at this point, guys. Yeah, he's hiding in the bush. Mm-hmm. Clever girl. Boy. Clever boy. Girl boy. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so... I'm not sure we should probably move... Yeah. But we're we're pretty close, guys. So that's you something to keep down. in mind. We can. I don't know how well you'll be able to see, but let's try lying down and seeing if uh we can still see our right. Yeah, I feel like we can still see pretty good. Oh, there he is. Mm. Ah. Oh, well, he's not behind he's in the, front tree. Of the tree. Okay, we'll shoot here as soon as I can. <laughs> All right. So I feel like we hit him. Oh yes, one of the things somebody taught me here is to mark the spot where you you shot him so that you can find his blood. I feel like we hit him. It's hard to tell though because we had that uh that bush in the way there. It seemed like he went down, but he probably popped back up. I mean, I, I don't think he's dead. He was just immediately. Scared. I mean, I'm not even entirely positive that we hit him because I didn't see the blood spurt up. Does it do that? 
Yeah, that's normally how I know. And shady over here. That's normally how I know when I hit him. Okay, so he was like right here. Yep, There's we got blood. him. There's his blood. Okay. So. Small amount of blood. Let's instead mark the blood spot here. Instead of whatever we had right there. Let's go out of hunter mode and um. Now the problem, of course, is figuring out where the hell he went. Oops, my bad. I wanted to keep this marked. All right, so let's go into hunter mode and see if we can't find this this blood. We know we got him, but the question is, was it enough to kill him? I'm just not sure on that one. And the worst part is, is yeah, I'm not entirely sure where he went after we shot him. Well, there's more blood. So somebody told me. That the blood is streaked like an arrow, so that like whatever way it's pointing is the way the animal ran, and so you can use that to then track to the next oh, blood spot. Cause yeah, he's spurting it all over the place. Yeah. All right, so we found this one here. What I think we should do is like every time we find one, just mark, put the mark there, so we can easily come yeah, back if I, I lose track of it. Cause that's really what's gotten us in the past episodes, guys. Is that uh. Losing that. Yeah, we lose the, the blood trail. I mean, it already looks like it's dissipating, right? Jeez, am I like, taking too long here? Does it dry up? Yeah. Oh. Yeah, it dries up, but I thought you had a lot more time. Yeah, that seems fast. Yeah, I'm not really seeing the next blood spot here. I mean, I'm just missing it. Can we see anything about his blood? Let me just take a look real quick. You gotta lick it. Yeah, I'm gonna lick it, Jinx. I'm gonna rub my body in it, too. I mean, doesn't it look like it's gone already? Did you do your hunter mode thing? This is the hunter mode. Oh. Yeah. Yeah, it's Seems already gone. gone. Wow, did That's... we already lose it? Now, remember, there was a patch today, guys. And I'm hoping it fixed... Uh, apparently, there's like this major bug. Man, I think we lost it, man. Well, yeah, I mean, if that's how fast it goes. Yeah, like, you got to really be Johnny on the spot with tracking, don't you? Yeah, I don't think they're going to find any more because the other spots have already dried up. I mean, did all the, them dry up that quickly? I don't know. Try the first one. I kind of feel like they did. Hmm. Yeah, they just don't stick around very long. Well, that's not fair. No. Maybe that patch did that. Could be on accident as well. Anyways, apparently there was a major bug where if you killed... I just heard something. <laughs> where if you killed more than... God, was it 49 animals or something like that? Then uh, your game stopped working. Like your save was corrupted. And that's unfortunate, guys. It kind of sucks for a game that's about killing animals. Yeah. And so they uh, they had a patch today. I assume that fixed that. I uh, let you kill 50 now. All right. Well, here's um some animal. There's a badger trail. Yeah, guys. I mean, if the blood dries up, there's really not much you can do. You just got to be quicker, I suppose. That's a real shame. I felt like we'd have a kill here right in the beginning. Um, but... Can you hear any sounds, or are they gone? No, they're long gone by now, Jinx. Yeah, but it's that's been my main issue with the game so far, guys, is the tracking. I've just had tremendous difficulty with it. Like, I can get the shot. I can maybe kill the animal, but uh, I can't figure out how to get to their corpse like and, and to follow them and track them down, like... I almost never am able to to track them down, and that's unfortunately where I've, uh, you know, I've had some some difficulties. There's another white-tailed deer over that way. All right, well, I guess we can hunt that down if we can even get to it. Let's take a look, see if there's anything out here. Not seeing anything. But yeah, that's just been my one issue, guys. I just can't seem to get the, the corpses. I can shoot them. There are, like, who knows how many corpses out there <laughs> <laughs> that I've shot. 
and went and died. And I wasn't able to retrieve them. Or wounded critters. Yeah, or wounded critters that have my bullets in them. I feel bad. They're going to start a, a gang and they're yeah. going to come hunting <laughs> come for you. Come me down, yeah. I was thinking more like a support group or something, but... No, it's a forest gang. I sit and talk about that thing that jumped up and bit them. <laughs> I'm just minding my own business. Eating some grass. Something jumped up and bit me. There's no way we're going to find it moving this quick, of course. I just think we should probably stick to the river, guys. I have not found a lot of luck, um, you know, hunting this way either. I think I've mentioned that before. Uh, if you're not in the the kind of flat area, real open, where you can see them well before they hear and smell and see you, yeah, I just have a lot of difficulty with it. And everybody gets thirsty. Yeah. All right, so we're just gonna go back to the water, guys, and then see if we can't just walk along it. That's how I found that deer. We just walking along the river, uh, which we're gonna see where we're at. We're right down here. the The wind was blowing this way, so we had to drive the car all the way over to here, and then um, to the bridge, and then I just walked up the river and found some deer. We're still trying to kill those white-tailed deer. I did forget that we weren't trying to hit him in the heart, so that's something to keep in mind for the next one. Yeah, we'll just walk up along the river, and, and typically you can find them by doing that, as long as you stay downwind. So we ate some Texas Roadhouse tonight. That's something we most never do anymore. We used to eat at those places, maybe, you know, those chain restaurants. Maybe one, two times per month. Yeah, these days we almost never eat there, at, or at those type of places. The quality is dropped off. Well, first of all, they're expensive. Yeah. I mean, that's the big issue, is that they're... They're expensive. They've all increased their prices. And then, as Jinx mentioned, that's the biggest problem is now you're paying more. And part of that's from inflation. But you're paying more for crappier food. Like, the food's just not as good as it was before, which they were never, like, great steakhouses. You know, mm -hmm. like, I, I actually prefer Outback when it comes to steak. I think their steaks are a little bit better. They're also more expensive, though. But, yeah, but Texas Roadhouse, I mean, they, they have a... Uh, okay food they give you a lot of food yeah because texas <laughs> that's how they do it in texas if y'all didn't know i mean most y'all know but jinx is We're from texas fat <laughs> oh whoa, what's that i don't know there's stuff to the left too oh lord i'm not gonna hit these guys nope yeah they're on the run might have got one but why put another bullet in an they're innocent so creature fat. Oh, there's one right there, a though. Straggler. Oh, that's that's a bummer. That one was stuck. So you guys see, we just walked to the river and just kind of, you know, rolled right up on see, them. See, those are the bugs that I need to see more of. <laughs> the critters stuck on rocks. Yeah. Uh, so we like, can, uh, let me get a kill. I don't get care a kill how here. smart he is. <laughs> I just almost feel like I need to start shooting twice, man. <laughs> just because, like, once they get away. Oh, shit. Oh, they, they're stuck on the bridge. Yep, it looks like it. Or maybe not. Yeah, they might not be stuck, but they're using the bridge. Alright, so I don't really know how far this is. So let's just take a look, guys. It looks like it's about 170. So if we get a little bit closer here. And that should be plenty enough, uh... Power. I mean, like, he's clearly injured. Yeah. Tra -la -la Shot him again. Now you just gotta run. Run like the wind. <laughs> I really like that you can reload while running, though. God, you're so slow. Run, Forrest. <laughs> you're really slow compared to the deer, of course. But yeah, like, at this point, it's like... I don't even know if I hit him that second time, but I, I know we got him the first time. You at least scared him <laughs> the second one. I'm pretty sure you got him the second time. Might have. And if you hit him the second time, he's got to be dead, right? I don't know. These deer are tough. <laughs> These are tough-ass deer. All right, so there's his blood. And it's a lung shot. It's pink with an air bubble. So this is this is a kill shot. Like, he's definitely going to die. He cannot possibly live after that shot. No, but where do you go? They got a deer surgeon. 
All right, so there's his his blood spot there. There's another one. Another one. All right. Another one. He's bleeding a lot. Yeah, frequently. Mm-hmm. There's the next one. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah, this is a lot of blood, guys. Oh, we, there he is. We got oh, one, guys. Him. That's that's him. Nice. We finally got one. I, I'm interested to see. It was a male. Okay. Yeah. I'm interested to see if uh, the second shot hit him. I didn't actually want to hit him a second time. I was just feeling like we we're never gonna get him otherwise. Oh, uh, we did hit him the second time. <laughs> All right. So this is the the first shot here. And let's just zoom in. I like getting nice and close to these. Let's just see what we hit. Uh, it does look like we hit the lung, which we kind of knew about that already. So yeah, hit him in the lung right there, and then passed out from the other side. Okay, so we hit the right lung there. And uh, clipped the bone on the way out, it seems. Uh, but the second shot, now this one was just kind of random, but this one also <laughs> went into the lung. Because again, I wasn't really... Uh, this was more of like a desperation shot. Like, this guy can't get away from me. <laughs> this one went through... Ooh, that was really close to hitting something we didn't want to hit. Yeah, his intestines. Uh -huh. That would not have been good. Get all that yucky shit up mm -hmm. in there. Yeah, we just barely didn't mess up our meat here with my just random shot. So obviously, you know, <laughs> that was not uh, the best uh, way to do this, to fire twice. It's best to just kill him with the one shot. But we really didn't lose a ton of meat. 48 pounds. I mean, that's, that's a lot of meat, obviously. But from the, uh, the total 235... So what we got to sell was 187. It's not the worst situation, guys. Especially if you're just rolling up on the deer out of nowhere. Mm-hmm. Um, those are some pitiful looking antlers, by the way. <laughs> Aww. I mean, I'm just being honest Poor here, Jinx. Feller. Yeah, it's not the greatest antlers They're here. Cute. So we're just gonna go ahead and sell this. Um we didn't hit the heart, so doesn't this count? I mean, yeah, As the male deer? So. Let me just um, take a look at our objectives here. Without damage in the heart, it seems like that should have applied. Was that a white-tailed deer or was that a mule deer? I thought it was a white tail. I just shot at it, not really knowing what I was doing. So, so we want to go into our hunting log here and see what it was that we got. It was a mule deer, Jinx. Oh, really? Yep. Of I course it, it was. Thought it looked kind of chunky. <laughs> so, yeah, that was the mule deer. And thus, it did not satisfy our objectives. So we need to kill more deer. Mm-hmm. All right. So it's we want to go this way. My boss, who is a hunter, he does bow hunting now. Uh, he's going to bring you some deer meat next week. Oh, is he going hunting again? No, he has some in his freezer that he's trying. He, he bought a grinder. Oh, yeah, yeah. You told me that. <laughs> so he's grinding everything. So what is it going to be like ground like ground deer? Ground deer, yeah. I see. Because we went to, to dinner. We went to like, it was uh, one of her work dinners. And we went there and uh, I didn't really talk with her co-workers very often. I don't usually go to the dinners because they usually eat. Yeah, that was the first one that you'd been this, to. Yeah, that's the first one I've been to. And she goes to them, I don't know, what, one every three or four months? Yeah. She's been there for years. I've never <laughs> gone to the dinner. She, first of all, guys, she never invites me. It's. I forget that you can go. Uh huh. <laughs> She's embarrassed. She's embarrassed by me. Yeah. Because I can't be around civilized company. No. Nope. Good folks. Like the beast. Mm -hmm. Don't know how to use a spoon. Yeah. Just dribbling I, all in your beard. I just slurp it up, man. It just gets all <laughs> up my beard. It's. Yeah. I understand. She's embarrassed. I got it. Yeah. Definitely. Monstrous. <laughs> Everybody thought that I had made my family up because they'd never <laughs> met them. It's just because we have the one vehicle. So it's not like we can be, <laughs> you know, out and about at the same time. Yeah, so if I can't... I'm somewhere, they're at home. <laughs> so yeah, I can't bring her, like, lunch or anything like that. And so that's what a lot of the spouses will do. They bring lunch, and that's where they the co-workers meet them. Yeah, everybody thought that you were just made up. I was a fabricated hubby. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like, he's real, I promise. Uh, but yeah, I ended up, we we were able to go now. Uh, another big problem, of course, uh, besides them always eating, uh, they have to go to Mexican restaurants. Yeah. Which, if, if you guys didn't know, I have stomach issues. 
And so I, I love Mexican food, but it's something I eat at home. I eat at home where the bathroom is close by. <laughs> so I don't usually go to the Mexican restaurant, so that was an issue that they go to Mexican restaurants a lot. Uh, but the biggest problem was that we didn't leave our kids home alone until yeah. recently. They just weren't, we didn't feel like they were old enough for all that. But last year when we went on our, uh, our date for our 14th wedding anniversary, we left them home for the first time. And they lived. They so. made it. Yeah, they're older now. and So, yeah, I guess that's a thing now. <laughs> so, yeah, just starting last year, we've been able to actually, like, go places alone. We don't do it very often. Yeah, we don't. We don't. Like, we don't take I advantage of it. That we can do that. Uh -huh. Like, why, why have we not gone on dates? Like, it's a new thing. <laughs> but we have, uh, we have not had a babysitter here. No. In Colorado. You can't trust folks, man. You can't <laughs> trust them with your kids. Something wrong with people these days. We are going the wrong way. No, we're just going for a walk, talking. I guess I, I wasn't even paying attention because that's the... We're going against the uh, wind as well. But yeah, I guess my boss liked Prejorian. <laughs> He's like, why haven't you brought him before? And he found out that he likes the meat that he brings. Because so I love meat. Like, I didn't know he liked the meat. And now he's going to like bring all kinds of meat and stuff. <laughs> I love meat, guys. And uh, when I worked up at the prison, I had a, a friend up there. He's a sergeant. And he hunted. And he used to feed me. He would bring me food uh, from his hunts. And that was the first time I'd ever had deer meat. Again, city boy, guys. We don't, we don't typically eat deer meat in the city. And... I realized I loved it. It's like really tasty. Yeah, it is pretty good. Well, it's interesting. Uh, one thing I didn't expect is how like you can kind of taste the animal's diet mm -hmm. in the meat. Like it has a kind of like like a figs and berries kind of taste <laughs> to it or something. I don't know. It tastes it tastes wild, for well, lack of a better word. Yeah, like whenever I like look into keeping animals, like. Right now, my kick is chickens. I really want some chickens. They're like, yeah, just it's like seasoning your food from the inside. Just give them herbs, and it'll mm -hmm. make the meat taste better. Like that's kind of what the deer do, just out there eating all kinds of yummy flavors. Yeah, I mean, we're used to eating, you know, cows, <laughs> cows and that pigs. Eat cows. That we don't even know <laughs> what these animals are eating. These animals from Cannibal the store. Cows. Yeah, we don't know what what those uh animals that we the meat we buy we have no idea what they're eating what I know they're it fed it doesn't taste good yeah the uh a deer meat just tastes good man it's just i mean it might not be for everybody but i was really digging it i liked it quite a bit and so anytime my uh, friend at work would would bring some i'd have to get my myself a couple bites at least and then he just started bringing me <laughs> like deer steaks he'd just always cook another one whenever he worked with it's me because he knew what it was like doodly thing to do is share meat to share your meat from your kill mm -hmm. oh, that bird was just like right there and so yeah i haven't had deer since i worked at the prison which was a long time ago guys there's another bird <laughs> i don't have a i don't have a shotgun so we could kill it with this smaller rifle i think this is our grandfather rifle <laughs> <laughs> Just but it's going to meat. it's going to destroy the the meat quite a bit. You should have shot it in the face. I mean, I guess I could have. I mean, it's such a little head, though. I'll pop right off. Yeah, we'll go and I mean, we'll get like I think it's like worth a dollar typically. This is at yeah, two dollars. It's not worth much, guys. Yeah, you can see like just how much of it we destroyed. <laughs> oh, Animal face. weight is four point forty eight pounds. We destroyed 4.03 pounds. Nice. That's why it's not worth anything. I killed it for nothing. Basically, yeah. He's just looking at you like, why you kill me? <laughs> yeah. I'm just hanging out. That's not, uh, not the way to do it. But um, I almost feel like we should taxidermy it. Because it's actually worth two. It's a beautiful bird. Yeah, I don't feel like there's anything else wrong with it. I mean, I don't really know yeah, how that works. But, yeah, let's taxidermy it. So it's not for nothing. You know, we'll uh, at least put it up on our wall. It didn't die for for nothing, because essentially you're not eating that. There's no meat left on it. But again, killing these with the rifles is not the best way to go. There's another deer, guys. Just getting a little drink of water. 
So we're going to creep up on it. Well, well we're kind of not really creeping and walking, but that's okay. Alright, so, I mean, we could shoot it from here. And we'd probably do alright. Which uh, animal is this? That's something we should we should take a look at real quick. He's kind of stocky like a mule deer. Alright, so let's just He's take a look, guys. little white tail. It is a mule deer. It's got that white butt, so you know that it's the mule deer. The white-tailed deer, they just have white underneath the tail. Oh, really? Yeah, oh, so like, like it's... a little bunny tail. Yeah, the, that area underneath the tail. And might be aware of us, I don't know. We're not really going He's after this. But little freaked out. I think this is a she, though, isn't it? Is it a male? I can't tell. I thought it was a female. I mean, maybe. I feel like we let this one live the day. Unless it just stops. Well, it's all by itself. Like it's gonna do right there, then. I was gonna lay down. Aww. Really? It's just trying to take a nap. Oh, if that didn't alert sleep. it. <laughs> Alright, I guess we can take it down. These deer are bulletproof. <laughs> <laughs> we're trying to sprint and we're in a squad. They're evolving. <laughs> I mean, they, they get shot and then they jump up. Like, that's what you would do. It's not what I would do. I'm like, oh, thank God, finally. <laughs> <laughs> I'm done. <laughs> Tapping out, guys. This is my world. time. <laughs> Good night. Finally gonna get some rest. <laughs> Finally get some sleep in your life. These weary old bones. Done had enough. I mean, we do need the money. Uh, I'd like to get another rifle. Something more powerful for when we go doing that moose hunting. Or bear hunting. Or bear hunting. I don't see any blood here, guys. I know I hit it. I saw the blood. But we probably didn't hit any vital organs because, I mean, we shot it in the back. I mean, oh, there's the blood. All right, so it's a small amount of blood. Mm. It's red. This likely did not kill the animal, guys. I think it ran up this way. We can look, see if we see any further blood, but I really don't think this is worth tracking down. I think this deer lived. Are there snakes in this game? I don't think so, Jinx. I didn't know if there'd be like hazards, like snakes or hornets. <laughs> I don't. I don't think those are things that the hunters want in their games. They got to deal with those in real life. Yeah, no more, uh, no more blood streaks, guys. So I'm thinking it didn't bleed much, which again doesn't really su uh, surprise me with uh, the shot. This is not a great shot. I mean, I wasn't even sure I wanted to shoot it. I kind of felt like I shouldn't. It. And these aren't even real life deer. These are just <laughs> digital deer. And I was still like, yeah, let's let them, let's let her go. Don't do cute things. No, I can't kill you. <laughs> All right, so we'll just, just keep on walking up along Aww. the river, guys. In our squat, because it does seem pretty difficult for them to find you, or to, to see you when you're in the squat. You can at least get pretty close. But yeah, that small amount of blood, guys. That deer didn't die. But I feel bad. Because again, that's one more critter out there with my bullet in it. Yeah, not dead. it's not going to feel good about taking a nap ever again. Mm -hmm. Every nap is going to be like Oh my god, this terrifying. is the last one. Mm-hmm. Kind of like PTSD and shit. Like, what did I do to deserve this? Karma would be if I rolled down this hill and broke my neck. Yeah. And then a deer ate you. <laughs> I don't think a deer would want to eat me, but... You don't know what deer do out in the woods when no one's watching. I mean, they're not carnivores, but... But maybe they would eat me just because of everything I've done. True. Maybe they're not this carnivores because they don't have the tools necessary to get themselves some meat. But if they just happen upon it... And then be like licking around, accidentally take a nibble, and like, oh, that's pretty good. And then they just keep going. Is that how it works, James? That's, that's how I heard it works. Uh -huh. <laughs> <laughs> that vegan friend you knew that ate a cheeseburger once <laughs> just stumbled on a cheeseburger. No. Just had a lick. 
<laughs> oh, I've never met a good. vegan who is strong in their convictions. <laughs> what? Are you serious? Yeah. I guess the people that I know are vegetarians. Not yeah, there's a da- there's a difference. Yeah, she uh, some of her vegetarian coworkers. I saw them eat meat I was like, <laughs> at what? that dinner we were talking about. Yeah, well, that's a whole other story. Yeah, that dude. <laughs> mm-hmm. But anyways, I know some. There's vegans. They are very strong in their convictions. Oh yeah, definitely. Like if you eat meat, you are a murderer. Like equivalent to somebody who murders human beings. You're exactly the same. There's no difference. You should be in prison for the things you do. You didn't even murder the animal, but you bought the meat, and that's the same thing in their eyes. But yeah, some people can be very, very, you know, strong in their feelings about this matter. I've just never met one in real life. I only come across them on the internet. Just one of those rare critters. <laughs> Because most <laughs> everyday people are chill. They're just like, whatever, don't bother me, just live your life. Like, Well, we also live in Colorado. That's true. Where people in, in general are pretty chill overall. Now, obviously, Denver is a different different matter. We don't live in Denver. Denver is a little bit crazier, but you know what? Everybody's smoking weed here, so... <laughs> so it kind of just chill. results in a chiller behavior as well. All right, guys, so we got to kill... I mean, two if you count the bird, not a shot. So we did get a kill in this episode, so that's good. But it wasn't the one we were looking for. It was not the white-tailed deer. Unfortunately, that got away. I feel like I did kill that, by the way. I just don't know where it went. I don't know, though, because the blood disappeared so quickly, and I didn't, I didn't see what it said. We didn't pay attention enough to, to like, the, uh, the notes on the blood. Like, was it a lot of blood? And frankly, it was kind of hard to see where I was shooting because of all the, uh leaves and stuff that was around in my sight. So hashtag excuses, guys. <laughs> might have, uh, might not have killed him, I suppose. But we did, in fact, hunt. We did the thing. Killed the animal. <laughs> not Maybe. the one that we wanted. Oh, wait a minute. Oh, uh, there's animals right there. We just walked right up to them and missed them. I didn't even see him there. Alright, so yeah, they got away. I feel like a lot of these are going to be mule deer, though, at this point. Because this is all kind of mule deer country right here. I feel like you just need to drive down the road at high speeds in the middle of the night, and there will be deer everywhere. Mm -hmm. Jumping out in front of your car. Like, please hit me. Like, they just hang out on the side of the road. Are they doing that on purpose to scare people? <laughs> or are they really contemplating suicide? I just think they're trying to get across the road. I bet it's scary. All those fast cars going by. Yeah, I think somebody in the uh, the comments mentioned that they are questioning this whole idea of, like, deer running from your vehicle because it's loud. Yeah. <laughs> like, that doesn't make any sense. They run to it for some stupid reason. <laughs> yeah. Oh, probably all that food that hunters leave out for them. <laughs> <laughs> so that they frequent areas. That's kind of cheaty, if you ask me. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it, it can get really cheaty, like... I don't know if you remember that. What was it? The Simpsons or Camp or the King of the Hill? I don't remember, but it was like a, um, a hunting. They went on a hunting trip and it was just like a stand and the deer was just like let out. Oh, yeah, like just eating it. Yeah. They were eating there. Eating the stand? Yeah, they Yeah, were just trying to the take stand. the stand out to kill the people. They know and, they've got snacks up in there. Yeah, they were just like, uh, they just let them out. And so they're just sitting up in the stand. And it's just like, it's like literally shooting, I would say deer in a barrel. They're not in a barrel, but like shooting <laughs> fish in a barrel. Like they're just. I feel like, yeah, I think that's King of the Hill. I feel like it was a King of the Hill. I want to say yeah. that was a King of the Hill episode. Could have been Simpsons too. I don't know. I just long time imagine ago. Dale all dressed up in camo ready to go hunting. <laughs> but yeah, it was one of those, those cartoon ones. And, and then he probably said something about it being unsportsmanship. Unsportsmanlike. Yeah, whatever. Words. It's late. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so I mean, we got some kills, but again, not really, um, not really completing the objective here since we're not getting the white tailed deer. I might do the story stuff off camera just because it's so, like, specific. And it can be difficult enough. What's that? Some sort a of deer. fox or something. A deer? It doesn't look anything like a deer. What are you talking That's about? It's really far away. I mean, sure, but. That'd be a big-ass fox. No, it's like a regular fox. 
No, it's like a monster fox. I don't know. I don't know what it, it looked like a fox. And found there. Fenrir. I feel like we have to hunt that down. And I, I even have the other gun for that as well, for hunting the smaller animals. That ain't no small animal. Maybe it, it's a honey badger. I just, I don't think so, James. <laughs> oh, that's something the mule deer. You just stepped in doo-doo. Mm-hmm. That's all dried out, so this is old. Yeah, I just stepped in some turds. What's that on top of our head? Oh, that's probably the other rifle. Okay, I was going to say, do we, are we wearing like a, a camera on top of our head? Just filming all this? I was thinking this? a helmet. A so helmet with a camera? <laughs> for when I roll down the hill? Yeah. I don't think we're going to catch that guy. Because I've lost uh, sight of it for too long. And we are walking up pretty fast to it as well. You so it's, uh, so. <laughs> it's going to be long gone by the time we get there. What do you mean? Because it doesn't seem like I'm walking very no, fast. No, it doesn't. This is, in these games, this is like so fast. So like, I feel what like, are you doing? Compared to the normal speed I'm creeping up to him, I feel like I'm really racing right now. Settle down. I'm like, slow Damn. down, man. It's going too fast. Now this stand right here, this stand actually is in a really good spot. Because you're uh, very close to the river. Yeah. More uh, deer turds. Yeah, I think like this is actually a, a pretty solid spot. I told Fine, you it was a fox. a fox. I told you it was a fox. It's a regular size, ordinary you, fox. Yeah. <laughs> There's two of them. Perhaps. Yeah, I really want want it, guys. Is that a gator? Oh, yeah, there's two of them. Got him. Oh. Yeah. Oh, we can get the other one, too, I suppose. That's on the run. We don't try. Oh, is there a rabbit right there or something? What is that? A badger. A badger. He's going to eat the fox. <laughs> get away from my fox. <laughs> All right, let's get over there, guys. It's like the fox and the ham. Or just something eats it. This poor little old Todd running off. Yep. <laughs> and we just kill his girl. I guess we'll find out, or maybe this is Todd. What was the dog's name? Copper. Yeah. That's what it was. Mm-hmm. <laughs> All right, so let's take a look. This is this is Todd Jinx. Oh. The girl got away. Poor Todd. So hunt rating was a five. Um, let's just take a look, see what we hit. Looks like we got the lung. Both lungs, actually. Yeah, looks like we got both lungs. All right, hold on. Let's just backtrack this a little bit. Haven't seen inside the fox yet. But it's a smaller critter, so it's really just the heart and the, the lungs and the brain, I assume. All right, so yeah, you can see we pierced the lungs right there. And uh, killed it pretty much immediately, it seems. Yeah. Okay. So we'll take a look here. It's a mature male. Uh, as far as like, yeah, we barely lost any of the uh, the meat. It's not really worth Do a lot. It's not something. Eat yeah. Fox. Not totally something you'll eat here. I think we'll go ahead and taxidermy it. Yeah, I wouldn't see any other reason to kill a fox. So Unless yeah. I guess they're eating your chickens. True. So we got ourselves a red Fucking fox. Chickens, yo. So we got a, chickens. <laughs> the chickens. Jinx, Jinx has in her mind. She doesn't have I real chickens them. right now, but eggs are expensive. And I eat a lot of them, guys. So many. A stupid number of eggs. I like eggs. And hey, there's our house. We've walked all the way up here. Yeah, I eat a, uh, ate a lot of eggs and. They're good for protein, uh, particularly when you compare them to the amount of calories you're intaking. I don't know how many I eat a day. You got them good fats in them. Mm -hmm. I, I eat the I eat the entire egg as well. I know that like bodybuilders and stuff will just eat the egg whites, but uh, I'm not a bodybuilder. <laughs> you I left, have a body, I have and a, you're building it. Sure, I guess. <laughs> I just like to look at it. People always, you know, they ask, you know, oh, are you a power lifter? Are you a bodybuilder? Or strong man? It's 
So I, got, I just like, pick. I'm all of the above. I pick heavy nice stuff up. To meet you. <laughs> and I put it back down. That's all I do. Like I don't even. It's not really. Uh, I don't have any goals with it or anything. Guys. That's okay. Nobody ever asks me any of those questions. <laughs> <laughs> We just want one time for someone to be like, yo, you work out? I'm like, hell yeah, dude, thanks, man. Well, there's a stark difference between my size and your size. Yeah. Most people were a little surprised. Didn't somebody call me a giant the other day when we were on that? <laughs> <laughs> she just told me, she's like, yeah, those girls are calling saying some, something about you being a giant. <laughs> I can't remember what they said now, but yeah, it was funny. Mm-hmm. Well, particularly when I got like... My shirt off and no clothes on and stuff. He'd just be, be running around naked. Yeah. Well, we were at a pool, I think, when that happened. I would hope so. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's the only thing else But yeah, here. I'm decently built for a lady. Like, oh, you got pretty eyes. I'm like, thanks, I didn't do shit for those. <laughs> 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 what about my gun, son? <laughs> <laughs> But yeah, most dudes seem to to often comment on my size and ask questions and stuff. And your beautiful eyes. Usually <laughs> my beard. No, the ladies oh, true. mention the eyes. I've never heard a, I've never had a dude say anything about my eyes before. But the ladies will, particularly the older ladies. But yeah, usually it's the beard yeah. or the muscles. That, Dudes love your beard. Yeah, they do. Like, oh my god, it's a beautiful beard. Yeah, they all ask like all kinds of detailed questions. What do about you feed it? it? Yeah. <laughs> mm -hmm. What do you feed it? Where do you keep it at night? <laughs> How often do you pet it? All the time. What you really need is a critter like me to be burying up in there, mm -hmm. keeping it, keeping it. Yeah, it's like tiny. a little, it's like a little nest for Jinx. She buries into my beard. Yeah. I don't know where we got into all this, but, <laughs> <laughs> but I think it is actually the end of the episode here, guys. Yeah. We did get some kills, uh, so that's good. Again, I'm kind of thinking about the, uh, with the story missions that we might do these off camera, just because, uh, it's kind of difficult to find the, you know, I mean, it's not difficult. It's difficult for me, I should say, to find the exact animal while we're recording and then get the kill. There's a lot of stuff that has to go just right. While the uh, camera's on, it's almost impossible. You turn the camera off, oh, it's easy. When you turn the camera on, it's just like... Yeah, as soon as we turn it off, we'll be swimming in white tail. Yeah, they'll be they'll everywhere. They'll all want to die. Yeah, they'll be walking up to me trying to eat something out of my palm. You know, it's <laughs> ridiculous. But you turn the, the camera on, and then it's just... It's just a completely different story. But I uh, hope you guys did enjoy today's episode. I'm trying to find our little home. There it is, right up there. That's going to be a long walk, though. Uh, I think there's a location here. Yeah, you can just go to the this location here, and then I guess I could just fast travel as well. <laughs> I guess we'll do that. But yeah, I hope you guys did enjoy today's episode. If you did, make sure you leave a like on the video, subscribe to our channel, hit that notification bell, and leave a comment. do hope to see you guys on the next episode, which will likely be probably Tuesday, maybe Wednesday if, if we are unable to get something recorded, but I would expect Tuesday is, is the plan. We'll try and get a video out for Tuesday. So I'll see you guys then, and thanks for watching.